What up, bros? This is the All Bros Podcast. I am Jonathan. And nah, I'm Caleb. And we are a couple of aspiring filmmakers that love to watch and critique movies, but also enjoy a lot, a bit of the nerd life. Uh, this week on the podcast, we will be skipping uh, Adventures in Hunting and Through the Wall, and this week's sneak peeks, because we are actually recording this right after our uh, previous episode that we did uh, with our uh, break... Uh, showdown of the uh, MCU movies. Uh, Call the, it Infinity Saga. Infinity Saga, sorry. Uh, the updated version of that. Um, the reason why we're doing this is because Caleb is moving next week, uh, and so literally we're going to have basically no time to meet up and record together. Um, yep. But we still got a really good show for you guys. Um, it's going to be a fun one. Um, so in this one, we're jumping right to our... Uh, main event and it is going to be our showdown of old nickelodeon shows that we grew up with well mostly i grew up with because caleb poor thing was sheltered i had a (laughs) i had a decent amount i know but like most of these you had to sneak watch yeah it's pretty funny it's very interesting you had to sneak watch uh cat dog yeah no kidding (laughs) i had to sneak watch spongebob (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I, nowadays I'm, ex- I'm excited that... to actually get into like these and talk about what I had to sneak watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very because you haven't told me all the ones that you had to, so I'm very interested to see which ones you had to. Yeah, so, so let's jump in. What do you say? Let's do it. It's time, time for the game. Let's play game. All right, so. Uh, we got a very, very long list, like holy shit, um, because we included not only cartoons, but also uh, some live action shows. Um, not a lot. No. Uh, isn't Just one, what like, we, three, anything four. that we felt was like OG Nick. Yeah. Like, we were still somewhat kids when it came out. We we consider us growing up on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, let's start it off with Rocket Power. Yeah, so... We forgot to tell everyone sorry. what our baseline was. I'm sorry. So our baseline for this is Hey Arnold. Yeah, we think that's the, just the most average of all of these shows. It's still a really good show. I... There's not a, there's not anything on here that's bad. I don't think. Other than like maybe Ren and Stimpy. I didn't. I don't think Ren and Stimpy is actually bad. Eh, out of this, like that's the the only one that I consider. Bad. I honestly would have thought you'd say all grown up. All grown up. Yeah. Yeah. All grown up was was not. Eh. Am I the only one that somewhat liked that show? Seems like it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Talk about unpopular opinion. Yeah. No kidding. Seriously. <laughs> okay. So our baseline is Hey Arnold, and so the rest of our list, Rocket Power. You think it's better or worse than I actually enjoyed Hey Arnold more than Rocket Power. Uh, I didn't. I thought Hey, I thought Rocket Power was a little bit more fun than Hey Arnold. It it was, I'll give you that, but I don't know. I I thought the characters were a lot better in Hey Arnold. Really? Uh-huh. I thought they were better in Rocket Power. Like I felt like maybe I don't were... remember this show as much as I think I do. Yeah, like I re- <laughs> I don't remember the characters' names, so I'm not even going to try and pretend. But yeah, I've always felt like the yes, the Hey Arnold show touched on a lot of more su- sensitive subjects than Rocket Power ever did. But Rocket Power also felt a little bit more real. But Hey Arnold had Yahoo Soda. <laughs> That's not a selling point. <laughs> I know. I just had to. I just wanted to bring out that reference. Uh, I'm still wanting to give it Rocket Power above a Hey Arnold. All right, I'll give you it. Okay, but good luck talking me up on one of these shows. Just heads up. <laughs> I wish you luck. Challenge accepted. Okay. All right. Next up, we got one of my personal favorites, Rugrats, and. It's definitely above Rocket Power for me. Right. I would I would agree. Okay. I was about to say, if you were going to disagree, I'm going to slap you. Rugrats was just so much fun. It it really is. It really was. 
Yeah, like you gotta see kind of just everything that you imagine as a kid come to life mm-hmm. in this show. The animation wasn't the best. But the story and the characters made up for it. Yeah, definitely and, made up for as it. As well as with the humor. The humor was on point with this show. It was, dude. And like even as an adult, you still get stuff out of the humor. Yeah, I completely agree. Like and they were very smart with their writing because a lot of their jokes are funny for kids and adults. Yes. I completely I think agree. that it's just like a different level of humor for adults because adults are broken. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, yeah, you're not wrong there. So, you saying above rocket power? Yeah. Okay. All right, wild thornberries is next on our list. I don't know if I liked it more than rocket power. No. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I definitely liked it better than Hey Arnold. Yeah, I would agree, but. I mean, like, if I did like it better than Rocket Power, it's just barely. barely. Yeah. Like, so, the th- the honestly, these three, like, so Hey Arnold was one that I had to sneak watch when I was, old, like, a lot older. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, my mom just didn't like the show. I honestly would have thought you'd have to sneak watch um, the Wild Thornberries more so than no, Hey Arnold. No, my mom actually really loved that show. So I didn't have to sneak watch Wild Thornberries at all. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, Wild Thornberries was was really good. I de- like I said, definitely liked it better than Hey Arnold. Not sure I liked it better than Rocket Power, but if I did, just barely. Okay. So if you say you like it better than Rocket Power, then I can give it above Rocket Power. You know, yeah, I think I do like it a little more than Rocket Power. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what I'm doing with the system yet. Okay. All right, that works. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, next up we got Cat Dog. And I feel we're going to be different on here. I think we I, might. I loved this show. I loved it. I liked the show, too. I, I didn't love it. But I did like the show. It, I I felt it was funny. I felt this was a, another show I had to sneak watch. So the, all all my feelings are just this one. I can kind of understand <laughs> why you had to sneak watch. Because I mean, they showed some like disturbing things when it came to like how yeah no shit they did <laughs> cat and dog came to be. Oh my yeah. <laughs> Like that scene when they try to get separated, that was that was kind of a disturbing scene. Yeah, or like this episode. was borderline Ren and Stimpy shit. <laughs> I completely agree. Um, so I would, for me, I would put it above Rocket Power, but I don't know if I would put it above Wild Thornberries. That's that's fair. Okay, I, I can. So, what about Hey Arnold? Would you put it? Above? I would above put it. Sorry, I keep forgetting about Hey Arnold. Yeah, I'd put it above Hey Arnold. Okay, so. Just barely above Hey Arnold, above Rocket Power, but it uh, but above it, Rocket Power. Yeah, I thought you said above. I thought you said below Rocket Power. No, above Rocket Power. Okay, so if it's above Rocket Power, okay. I mean, can you agree with that? I can agree with that. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, Rocket Power was one was a good show. I really enjoyed that show, but it's not one that I'm like super attached to. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. All right, here's the big one. SpongeBob. Yeah. The one that's still going. Which still amazes me. I don't... I'm not willing to put it above Rugrats. I'm not either. Um, But I... If I... Because I haven't seen really the new episodes. Right. Um, So if I'm like judging this off like the episodes that I grew up on, I'd have to put it like just right below Rugrats. Like it's right below. Yeah, it's number two so far. I would say that as well. So, so so far we got our Hey Arnold, followed by Cat Dog, then Rocket Power. I thought wait, I thought it was Rocket Power then Cat Dog. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Gosh damn it! Come on, bro. Rocket Power, then Cat Dog. Mm-hmm. Then Wild Thornberries. 
Yep. And then SpongeBob and then Rugrats. Bam. There we go. That's that's a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit. Yeah, just all right, next up, we got My Life is a Teenage Robot. I don't know if I like this as much as Hey Arnold. I didn't. I'm I'm sorry, this is already at the bottom of the list for me. Yeah, I, I'm i willing to give you that one. It's It was good. Like, it was fun. The like, animation style was definitely new. Yeah. New word-ish, kind of. But it didn't, like, the story wasn't as good as... The, the ones that we've talked about already. Yeah, I completely agree. Like, Cat Dog is still kind of up in the air for me. <laughs> but it's again, definitely better than My Life as a Teenage Robot. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm putting that one definitely below Hey Arnold. Okay. Invader Zim. We might be different on this one, too. Oh, my gosh. I love Invader Zim. <laughs> I didn't love it as much as you did. I, I, I get why. Okay. Where is it on your list? <sighs> I I'm it's not as good as SpongeBob. Okay. Is it as good as the Wild Thornberries? It, my, I think I might like it better than Thornberries. See, I would disagree. Where would you put it then? I would say it is a little bit better than Cat Dog. I would give you that. Okay. Can you deal with it being right in the middle of those two? <sighs> yeah, I can deal with that. Can you, can you make that sacrifice? Yeah, I could okay. put it just above Cat Dog. Okay. Next up, we got the Fairly Odd Parents. Shit. Uh, I this is going to be one that we disagree on. So Invaders, oh, okay. so Invaders Zim, Invaders. So Life as a Teenage Robot, I w- I could watch, but my mom was like hesitant on having me watch it. Yeah. Invader Zim, I wasn't introduced to until junior high, and when it. So it was like in this class that we did absolutely nothing because the teacher slept. So we, <laughs> so some it. dude brought his iPod and we watched Invader Zim episodes. I love it. So Fairly Odd Parents was one that I kind of grew up with. It was kind of in the same group as SpongeBob with my mom. Okay. So I wasn't allowed to watch it, but I would sneak it sometimes. Okay. All right. And. Honestly, I don't think I think I liked it better than Cat Dog. Maybe a little bit better than Zim, but I didn't like it as much as Thornberries. As the show went on, I don't know because Fairly Odd Parents is like really special to me. Where would you put it? I would actually put it above Thornberries. It's not better than SpongeBob, in my opinion. Right. But it is slight. Not the new, not how the show ended. Oh my gosh! Don't even get me started with that. Um, Did it end? Because I keep hearing about new episodes. Oh yeah, no, it ended in a sh- very shitty way. Great. <laughs> yeah. Like basically, once begin- Butch Hartman left, because like he was he was uh um what's the word he he was contra- contracted to keep going with it once his contract ended he's like see ya uh and then yeah it just went to complete shit after he left uh, yeah i'm not sure I'm, I'm willing to say it's better than thornberries if i'm basing thornberries it off was consistently good i yeah i would agree like so, you'd have hit and misses with fairly odd parents as it grew on I, I, yeah i would have to agree okay i i would give you below thornberries Damn you. All right, next up, we got The Mighty Bee. This is uh, below my life as a teenage robot. I'd have to agree. It's not a terrible show. It wasn't good. <laughs> it's better than uh, Fanboy and Chum Chum. Don't even. <laughs> okay, Chalk Zone. This was more your shit than it was mine. It Yeah. So, Chalk Zone, like, I... I, I really love the, the show, show, but I think you liked it more than I did. Yeah, I really liked the concept of the show. It was a really cool concept. Um, I liked the thought of being able to draw your own creatures or just your own objects and everything. And it actually got me to go outside and draw with chalk a lot. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's kind of why I have a little sentiment, sentimental value behind Chalk Zone. Okay, I like that. Um. 
I'd have to say, though, I it was not as good as Hey Arnold. Okay, I'd have to agree. I think it was better than My Life as a Teenage Robot, though. I completely agree. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, next up, we got As Told by Ginger. So, I watched this a little bit. Okay, I, I watched the, I watched it quite a bit growing up. Um, I think it's definitely better than The Mighty Bee and uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot. Um, you think it's better than Chalk Zone? I don't think it's better than Chalk Zone. So, it, it's, it's lower than that one. Okay. So, right between Chalk Zone and uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot. Okay, Mighty B just keeps getting like lower and lower. Poor, poor. Uh, oh my goodness! It was in the Amy Poehler that played the voice of the main. Did she? Yeah, I want to say it was. Amy oh my Poehler. gosh! I want to say it was Amy Poehler. Okay, that show just got infinitely better. <laughs> <laughs> Does it move up though? No. <laughs> I, I, it, it got better, but it's but still not that. It's still but, but not that good. Yeah. You know, here, let me like the entertainment that. value behind the show got better. Let me, let oh my gosh, go. I can like hear her now. Right? That is insane. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, if you're lying to me. Yep, no, Amy Poehler. Gosh damn, that is sweet. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, next up. We've... All grown up. Yes. This is where we're going to be very torn. Honestly, probably not because I know this show is bad, but I still enjoy it. So, honestly, where you think it will go, I'm going to probably agree. Okay. I don't think it was as good as Hey Arnold. Yeah, I agree. Actually, I think it was better than Chalk Zone. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just barely. Like, Chalk Zone was a really good show. It was really fun. But seeing, like, there was a different, like, it... Inter- there was entertainment value beside behind seeing the Rugrats all grown up. Yeah, and I thought that they were a lot older than they really were. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I was like, oh my gosh, they're like adults now. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> can, can I just got one question? Um, whose idea was it to give uh, Tommy purple hair? The same guy who <laughs> thought giving Stu purple hair. That's, oh yeah, I forgot Stu's <laughs> hair was purple. <laughs> so yeah, I was wondering that. I'm like, wait, wh- what? Where did that gene come from? Okay, but uh, yeah, I totally forgot that. Yeah, his dad had purple hair. Yeah, um, now it makes more sense that Dill has orange hair because of his mom. Yeah. Wow. Someone, uh, I'm, I'm really smart. Wow. Okay. All right, uh, before I uh, announce my that I'm more dumb than I seem to be. Yeah, so uh, like I said, above Chalk Zone, but below Hey Arnold. I, I would agree. All right, next up, we got Danny Phantom. Uh, this one's going to be hard, because I love this show. I did, too. I want to say it's above Thornberries, just below SpongeBob. I agree. I completely agree. Okay. <laughs> another Shit. big hitter. I know you're going to completely disagree with me on this one. Uh, 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 I actually think Jimmy Neutron's better than Spongebob. I'm not going to disagree with you. Really? I actually <laughs> may go as far as saying it's better than Rugrats. Dude, same. Can we please? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. We're going to get so much hate for that. This show is just so great. Dude, I've actually been re-watching all the shows. I didn't realize it was only like three seasons. You know why? I told you why, right? Yeah. yeah. Because Stupid of Aunt the Aunt Bully. Bully. Yeah, screw you, Aunt Bully. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Like, this show has some major rewatchability. It really does. Like, the humor, the characters, the story, just everything is just practically perfect. Dude, uh... Jimmy's dad, Hugh. Yeah. There is an episode where he was talking, or so is the episode where he hypnotizes them and thinking it's his birthday. Oh, yeah. And it just like does the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> there is a, like a line that he says 
like talking because he like smashes the or this clown smashes uh the hypno beam oh yeah thing and he's like it clears like the effects wear off of Hugh and Judy and the th- shit that Hugh says like about what like it was like being hypnotized <laughs> is freaking dark <laughs> I have to I'm go- I'm going to play a clip Okay. For you after, but Kay. oh my gosh, so freaking dark and Damn. so freaking funny. <laughs> okay, cool. Like, oh, I love that show. Like, I cannot express how much I love that show. Yeah, I can't either. Okay, so Jimmy Neutron is our new number one right now. And you're it gonna... might be there for a while. Uh, it might be there forever. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, next, Legend of Korra. You know what? Honestly, I actually never watched this show. You didn't? Uh Uh-uh. Oh. So, this is kind of like more so going off your grading. Okay. Well. I've seen bits in here, but I've never really got into the show, like, as much as I did with, like, The Last Airbender. But I didn't, like, get into that show as, like, everybody else did. I really liked The Last Airbender, and this was just kind of a continuation off that story. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really care for it at first. But it kind of grows on you. Okay. It was definitely because, good for like, a show to if do you that. get into, if you get into the Last Airbender, and then you start watching Legend of Korra, Legend of Korra just kind of adds some stuff to the Last Airbender, kind of like okay. what um, Rogue One did with Star Wars. Okay. All right, I like that. Kind of like that effect. Like it just added more to the lore, and I love the lore of the Last Airbender. So, Legend of Korra, I'm, it's definitely better than Hey Arnold, definitely better than Rocket Power, it, barely better than Cat Dog, but I don't think it's as good as Invader Zim. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to fit that right in between Zim and Cat Dog. Last Airbender, though, I think is better than Wild Thornberries. I would agree. I think the story just kind of trumps Danny Phantom. I completely agree. But I don't know if I would put it better than SpongeBob. I think it's barely better than SpongeBob. Like, SpongeBob was just, like, silly humor. Yeah. Like, The Last Airbender had, like, substance and, like, good story. And the animation is just incredible. It's like a soft anime. Damn you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't know if it's better than it's not better than Rugrats. It's it's not. No. I'm sorry. And I feel like this to is some the, it might, but not to us. Sorry. Yeah. It's it's def, like with Rugrats. I think we definitely have nostalgia goggles on. Yeah, that. but nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Ren and Stimpy. What do you think? Um, it's better than okay. Where? Sorry, I'm trying to. It's. I feel that it's. I don't know if it's better than All Grown Up. What are your thoughts? It's not. I don't think it's yeah. as good as. And I don't think it's better than Chalk Zone. It's no. But I do like it a little better than My Life as a Teenage Robot. And uh, I, okay, I I definitely like it better than Mighty B. But barely. Yeah, and I, it's, I don't know if I like it better than Teenage Robot. Like Ren and Stimpy is just stupid humor. Yeah. Actually, I might hate it more than Mighty B. I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's and... a little too far there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you what are you thinking? Uh, probably just above Mighty B. Is that what you were think, would think? That's what I was thinking, too. Okay. If I can't put it below Mighty B. Yeah. I won't let you. And, All right. And Stimpy. Let's move on to the live-action shows. And two of these shows especially are going to make this really hard. Yeah. Uh, but first up, we got The Amanda Show. Um. Yeah, this one was... Fun. This was like our SNL. Yeah, I, I completely agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't want. It's not better than SpongeBob. It's not. Um, I don't think it's as good as Danny Phantom. I completely agree. I kind of want to put it in the middle of that and Thornberries, or in the middle. I of think that it's or Thornberries and Zen. I actually want to put it between Cat Dog and Cora. Like I think it's a little bit better than Cat Dog, but I don't think it's as good as Cora. I'll agree with you there. Yeah, like the skits that Amanda Show did. They were good. They were. They were. They were funny. I think, it, like, with most shows like that, later into the show, it just kind of got like dumb. Yeah, but I mean, if it wasn't for the Amanda Show, we wouldn't have gotten our next up contestant, and that is Drake and Drop. Drake and Josh. <laughs> Drake and Josh. Oh, this show was like a really good like sitcom show yeah this i don't know this show is just special to me i know i've said that a lot about these nickelodeon shows but this is like in the top of special to me Ugh. but i don't know if it beats jimmy neutron it does not beat jimmy neutron yeah i would have to agree there's only one show in our remaining that i think will beat can beat jimmy neutron I probably am going to disagree, but we'll and see. I, I'd be fine with that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's definitely not better than Jimmy Neutron. No, I but think it's. I don't know if it's as good as Rugrats. I did a little better than Rugrats. <sighs> I don't know if I liked it better than Airbender. I did. I'm sorry. Can we meet in the middle and put it in between those? Yeah, two? well, I, I'm willing to put it between Rugrats and Airbender. Okay. But I'm not willing to give it number two spot. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, this next one on our list, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. I loved this show. Can we give this one number two? I'm I'm 100% ready to give this number two. Let's do it. This show, at, like... Say what you will about the show. It's a great show. But those some of those tips actually did help in middle school. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, there were some that just kind of didn't apply. <laughs> yeah. But I wanted to try the whole orange soda. Isn't it like drinking orange soda before a test will help your chances? I never tried it. I wish I would have. I wish they, I wish they released a book of all the tips. They seriously should have. Like, not even, like, a real book, more of, like, the Scholastic Book, book Fair books. Yeah, there you go. Like, that would have been... I would have bought the hell out of oh, that Oh, I would have, too. And then just had, like, little games and shit to do in there? Yeah. Okay, last on our list is iCarly. Hmm. This one's... Yeah. Is it better than Hey Arnold? I don't think it is. I don't think so, either. I don't think it's better than All Grown Up, but I think it's a little bit better than Chalk Zone. I would agree. Okay. I thought we were going to be a lot more indecisive. I thought we were, too. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. Yeah. So, let's 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 go through our, the list. Yes. And figure out if there's any that we, like, disagree with. Okay. So, Mighty B is, like, the worst. Yes. Ren and Stimpy is better than Mighty B. Yes. Teenage Robot is better than Ren and Stimpy. Mm -hmm. As Told by Ginger is better than My Life as a Teenage Robot. Yes, I agree. But it's not as good as Chalk Zone. Agreed. iCarly is better than Chalk Zone. Yes. But not as good as All Grown Up. Yep. Hey Arnold is better than All Grown Up. Yes. But not as good as Rocket Power. No. And Rocket Power is a little bit worse than Cat Dog. I love how you say it's a little worse. Because <laughs> <laughs> Cat Dog's not good. I think it's good. It. Yeah. I, I. I think it's good. You're lucky I let you get put it above Rocket Power because I disagree with this hardcore. <laughs> but like I said, it was a compromise. <laughs> You're gonna give me a cough attack. <laughs> So, Cat Dog's better than Rocket Power. Um, Amanda, sh the, or the Amanda Show is better than Cat Dog. Yes. 
The Legend of Korra is a better than the Amanda Show. Completely disagree. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm you, kidding. You need to watch it. Okay. Invader Zim is better than The Legend of Korra. This one's like a, a bit of a tougher sell for me. All right. But I really like Zim. Like, I just... The humor is super good. I, my favorite character is Gurr. See, I never really got into the show. I've seen a couple episodes, but, like, I never got into it as much as you did. Yeah, it's kind of like a child's Rick and Morty, <laughs> in a way. I like that. That's a good way to sum it up. Yeah. And like, I, like, you know how I feel about Rick and Morty. I freaking love Rick oh, and Morty. Oh, it's a great show. I love Rick and Morty. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I think Zim is just a little bit better than Korra. Um, the Fairly Odd Parents are a little bit better than Zim, but not better than Thornberries. But not better than Thornberries. Um, then Danny Phantom, I love that show. I love. I love how it was kind of like a Creature of the Week kind of show. Yeah, but it also showed him dealing with different aspects, like pit- using his powers on bullies, mm-hmm. and I just love like some of the people that he went up against yeah. it was all it was an all-around great cartoon yeah, it was really good um butch hartman did in that one yep yeah bitch butch hartman literally did almost all of our uh cartoon our our childhood cartoons yeah he has a very distinct style he really does and i love it mm-hmm. um spongebob is better than danny phantom but not better than the last or avatar the last airbender yeah because the I think the last Airbender is almost a perfect show. I would agree. Yeah, like I re I wish I could find a place to like rewatch all the the shows or um, all the episodes. Well, I mean, because I feel like there's some that I've missed. <laughs> they they do have the whole season out on DVD. I'm just saying. So I'm you, not buying it on DVD. It's also on Blu-ray. Well, I'm just saying. You're the worst. <laughs> Drake and Josh is better than Airbender. I disagree on that, but again, I compromised. Thank you. Rugrats is better than Drake and Josh. But it is not better than Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Yeah. This one, I think it had a really good just overall story. Like, the way he moved through school mm-hmm. and, like... They ended with um, him getting together with Mo- not the or with uh, what's her name Moe's. Moe's, yeah. yeah. Cookie was my favorite. I wanted his glasses so bad. Dude, actually, Coconut Head was my favorite. I loved Coconut Co- Head. Yeah, I loved Coconut. He would be. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what about Martin Corley? Remember Martin? I do remember yeah. Martin. <laughs> Oh, yeah, seriously, Dude, what's that was... supposed to mean? Oh, he would be for he, Coconut he's Head. He's the Hufflepuff of that show. <laughs> That's a good point. It's <laughs> a very good point. Oh, bloody hell. And then at the top of our list is well Jimmy Neutron. Yep, well deserved. Jimmy Neutron, or The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. Boy, I genius. freaking love Jimmy Neutron. I do too. Oh my gosh. Like I said, the rewatchability on this show is just out of this world. And I feel what I don't know the to, the what made the show even better to me was when they did the uh the Jimmy Timmy Power Hours. That was just like the the topping on the on the oh, cake. Oh, absolutely. Like, All of those are on Hulu too. Yeah, I watched them. Third one still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sa- the only saving graces are just like uh seeing Jimmy and Timmy and then like literally seeing the uh, the characters in each other's universe, but like the villain, like what they were trying to do, I get, but it just didn't work. Yeah, I mean, I haven't I haven't gotten to those ones yet, but I'm excited to kind of see what I. The first one still holds up. Like, does it really well? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, because I I still think I have like two or three more episodes to go in season three. Okay, and then it gets to the Jimmy Timmy stuff. Any of those you disagree with? No, I actually. With, I mean, the only one I really am a little butthurt about is the Drake and Josh being better than Airbender. I'm sorry, I'm not changing my mind. Yeah, like I said, compromise. Thank you. I really Other appreciate it. Other than that, it. I am fairly happy with 
I am too. Most of these. It's a pretty damn good list. Good ranking. Yeah. And we handled it a little bit better. Not so many lines and stuff. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that concludes this episode. Yeah. Is this our shortest one? Or have we had shorter? Nope, this is our shortest one. Well, no, Aquaman would be considered our shortest. Okay, well, Aquaman was technically our shortest because I goofed. Yeah. And all you did was just recap what we said. Yeah. And I didn't even do that very well. Yeah, I, I kind of noticed listening to it. <laughs> I think... You did your best. Yeah. <laughs> Well, with that, I think that concludes... Like, this is our shortest real episode. Yeah. That's what I'll say. There we go. That sounds a lot better. So, if you liked this episode want to check out more, be sure to subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and I'm probably getting rid of SoundCloud. It's nice knowing you're Unless SoundCloud. It, yeah. Because I don't want to pay for that shit. Oh, I know. It's bullshit. Um, I, we're on iHeartRadio, we're on Radio Public, and we're on Spotify. You can also check out all of our content on YouTube. Apparently it doesn't show my episode art, so that's bullshit. Yeah, it kind of is bullshit. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I want to see the gorgeousness that Caleb comes out with. Because they, they really are impressive, dude, like, I promise you. Like, wh what you do with it, it's very impressive. I just want to make sure that... These, these two are going to be a little hard. Or this one and last episode yeah okay yeah those are going to be if youtube wants to load for me yeah or you can follow us on i see those yeah i need to spice those up a little bit it's a little boring yeah no, i'm kidding i'll figure it out okay um like i was saying before you so rudely interrupted so, hey it still involved the all bros so i think it's okay uh, you can follow us on social media. We are on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the Albros. Or follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at the Albros. Um, if you have any questions for us, want to answer anything that we post, uh, I think the one after this is going to be Detective Pikachu. Yes. So, what should the question of the week be? If you could bring one Pokemon to life, what would it be? What do you think? For me? That's easy. Bulbasaur. Okay. Mine would be probably Squirrel. But let's hear from you guys. So this is basically a what's your favorite Pokemon question. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. Okay. How about this? Just so like we can get people to go see the movie. Okay. What is your favorite Pokemon? And if they were in the Detective Pikachu movie, how did you feel about their Live action representation. Okay, yeah, I like it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so you guys can look forward to that next week. And until then, this has been the All Bros Podcast. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jonathan. And we'll catch you guys next week. Deuces. Deuces. Yeah, I'm just going to copy you now. How about we don't? How about we do? <laughs> How about we don't? How about we do?